Hey Tom, this is Dora and I spoke with Lane this morning and told him about this video that I'd be sending to you. Um, so I'll just get started. Don't want to waste too much of your time. So here is your homepage as I'm sure you know. And you know, I love this with the picture in the background and you know, oldest plumbing service. That's awesome. Um, I, I would recommend some sort of a call to action up here like um, to where just bigger. I mean, I know that you can you can click on it here, but maybe even a form for them to fill out, send you some information. Then you've got that person as a lead for, you know, as long as you want to send them something, maybe you do a newsletter or something like that. It, it makes sure that they remember your name and, and you can get a few more clients out of that. So um, one other thing I would recommend would be that to make these clickable, these pictures, when people see these, they want to be able to click on them and just go to it instead of having to go to the services and find them. Uh, it, it's just the way we've become. People are like that. We, we like things quick and easy. So you know, I like your awards um, and you've got a little bit of content here. So I would really recommend the probably the most important thing that you might want to add to your homepage would be some content. Um, Google sends up web crawlers and basically they not only determine whether the content on your site is relevant to, you know, what you do, but it also counts the words. And most of the time you need to have about 1500 words. Um, in order to keep ranking number one or or to get up higher. So that would be a really easy thing for you to fix. So Expert Plumbers was your nearest competition. Um, and, you know, their website is, is a national website. So they just basically have, you know, the one page with some content and stuff on it. And, and you know, they don't have a lot of content, but, but they do have a little bit more. Um, but they do have that form that I was talking about. So it's always something to keep in mind is to, you know, upgrade your site as you can, and it makes a huge difference for the, you know, the amount of traffic that you'll pull in from Google. So when I'm talking about, you know, some of the things on Google, I mean, we all look at Google, right? But we don't always necessarily know what that means when, when you pull things up. So with this one, um, I'm pulling up Google, and I mean, there's also some of these other sites that are coming in higher, which I could, I could rank those two and, and check them out, um, because, you know, it's never a bad idea to know what your competition is, right? So one thing that you want to try to get into, if you can, is it's called a map pack. And this one, let's see, where did it go? Oh, back here, let's see. So the map pack is when you've got, of course, the little map. And these three companies are the ones who pull in the most business. It's easy, it's right there. Um, most of the time the map is on the right side. I'm not really sure why it's um, up on top this time, but like I said, people like things quick and easy. So they click on these sites and then they go get what they need, right? So one thing that's really great is in the organic search, which means people, you know, when they type in these words, these specific words that I did, there's other ones that you won't be at the top, but you're number one on this. So that's fabulous. If we could just get you into that map pack, you'd be pulling in so much more business. Um, the way you get more business in the map pack is by having citations. And basically what citations are is the name of your company, the address of it, the phone number of it, everything that you've got listed exactly the same as you have it on your Google business page, if you have one. And if you don't have a, a Google business page, I would <laughs> highly recommend that you get one because it makes a huge difference. Um, and the citations are like in things like Yelp or White Pages or, you know, Angie's List or Home Advisor. Those are all directories. So you can get your name into as many of those directories as you can, and, and that will help to get you ranking on the map pack. It will pull in a little bit more business for you that way, too. Um, I wanted to show you uh, a little bit of a comparison here. So this is your what's called a backlink profile. So if you don't know, a backlink is just where, excuse me, another website or person has linked to your site. So they've just said, hey, you know, First Street Plumbing's amazing. Here's their website. They click on it and it goes to you. So that's what a backlink is. It can be a blog. It can be anything. Um, now, quality is, is, it does make a difference when it comes to backlinks, though. You want quality links. Um, and let me show you. Um, so basically, this is your domain rating. So this is the trust that Google has in your website. And then this is your URL rating. And this is um, the power that your website has basically. And so once again, here's your backlinks. You'll click on it or I can, you know, you can find all these things yourself if you wanna look for them online. 
And like here, here's some directories, you know, you've got your name in that one. And, you know, you've got seven keywords that are pertinent to this. Um, you've got all these other ones too, but you don't have very many keywords that are relevant. So, you know, a lot of these you're just ranking, you know, connecting back to a page on your site or something like that. But, you know, a lot of quality backlinks are great. If you can get these in the 70s and 60s and 90s, these high quality links, that's going to move you up to for some of those other searches, some of those other keywords that maybe you don't rank number one for. So um, let me go back and show you those keywords really quick. So you've got 25 keywords. And of course, you're coming up for First Street Plumbing in position number one. So, you know, you're getting 83 people out of that because you're number one. And, you know, First Street Plumbing, everything that has to do with First Street Plumbing, you're coming in at number one. So you know what, that's fabulous. The numbers are kind of low for the number of people that look for those specific ones besides First Street Plumbing, but still you're, you're pulling in some traffic from that. Um, plumbers in Idaho Falls, you know, if you work the Idaho, Idaho Falls area, you know, there's 600 people who look for that. Um, you know, that's, that's amazing. And I mean, you're ranking for it, but you're only number 11. So if you were to increase your rank a little bit, instead of only getting, you know, 12 people out of this, maybe you'd get 25 people out of this. Um, same thing with street plumbing, you know, 200 people, you know, you're ranked number 10. So you, you only get five of those 200 people. So if you could um, rank a little bit higher on those keywords, then, you know, you can, you could, you could really get more traffic. Sorry, I'm stumbling over my words there for a sec. Um, as you can see, you know, Expert Plumber in Twin Falls, you know, they've got the domain rating of 21 and the basically the power rating, the UR rating of eight, and which is fine. You know, they're not great. Uh, these numbers could come up. Um, you know, they've got the backlinks too, but you know what? Yours are better. They don't have keywords that are related to them. This is why you beat them out on the organic search. Um, so, you know, I'm just trying to show you that these keywords can make a, diff a great difference for you and, and the domain ratings. See, they've got fairly low power on some of these. So that's why you're, you're kicking their butt when it comes to that. Um, if only you could, you know, maybe just get a little bit more on your keywords and a little more key, um, keywords, a little more traffic, that sort of thing. You're going to just really blow everybody out of the water. So if this helps you at all, you know, I would love to have a little bit of feedback. If you wouldn't mind just sending me a line or two, that would be fabulous. But otherwise, I will reach out to you tomorrow and I hope you have a great evening. Thanks.